Men are just never satisfied, period. Money, They're not satisfied women, with career. themselves. As coming from a culture of women that have fake hair, fake eyelashes, drawn on eyebrows uh, that alter their height, that use makeup, BBL, epidemic, breast augmentation, and you want to say a blanketed statement as if men are the ones that are not satisfied with themselves. Alright guys, y'all looking at the thumbnail, y'all looking at the title of the video, y'all already know what time it is, it is time to get active. Alright guys, looks like we got another banger from friend of the channel, it's complicated, he uploaded a video none too long ago titled, Settling? Rules of Modern Dating and Understanding Women When It's Complicated. Without further ado! There are many women today who are out earning men, female doctors, lawyers, etc. Why is a male breadwinner considered to be normal for a man, while a female breadwinner is often considered to be dating down for a woman? Hypergamy. Um, I think a lot of times we refer to back in the days when men were considered the breadwinners. They were the men. They were the people that brought home the, home the money while the women stayed home. So now the generations have changed and things have changed. You know now women are getting on their shit. Like, it's not just rely on a man anymore. It's do for your own, and he's gonna do for himself, and you guys can either do that shit together, or, you know, one person could be the breadwinner. I guess it all depends on what you agree on in your relationship, but I really do think that it has to do with the change over time. Mm. Why is it? What's so interesting about that is that um, oftentimes the change over time is described as the value of women. The value of being independent, the value of I don't need no man, but oftentimes they don't talk about the consequences, which we often talk about on this channel as well. Let's keep going. That a rich man would sooner change a broke woman's life, but a rich woman is less likely to give a broke man a chance. Facts. Because <sighs> <laughs> men like to have the power what? to uplift and feel like they're doing, I guess, like justice to the woman versus a woman is like, I don't need to, I guess, you know what I'm trying to say? Kind of. I wouldn't no. necessarily agree with the second part of that question because I honestly think it's more of a societal stigma where society just kind of like says that women have a problem being with a man of a certain financial you know, status. I, I don't necessarily think that that's what we as women think right off the bat, but. A risk. Oh, she's deep in the sister code. <laughs> come up out of it, mama. Come, come up out of it. Here's the thing is that like, you know, I take a look at them and they look like lovely young ladies, at least from what I can tell right there. But it just goes to show that so many of us, you know, should we be taking relationship courses? Like, should there be courses in school in order to teach the benefits of like, gender roles or like understanding hypergamy or right like because fact of the matter is is that there's a particular benefit of human beings to understand kind of what is it that you're good at what is it that you're good at okay why is it that i like you why is it that i like you what can i help you with what can i provide you with what can i help you with what do you need because i think like when you hear a lot of these average people talk and when I say average, I just mean like up on the street, right? Have no preconceived notion of the content. What you often find is they're just making things up based off of the kind of echo chambers that they sit in. And they're not necessarily bad people. They're just unaware. I mean, shit, ask a person regarding mathematics who's never taken a mathematics course. Would you really expect them to understand the concept of 10 plus 10? If they've never taken a math course before? Rudimentary example, but you guys understand my point. Let's move on. This man see the future in a, in a woman and we could build them up. But a woman already feels when they got money that they already built up and they wouldn't want to build us up. You feel me? They feel like they're better than us when they have money. Correct. You're we're broke, we're all this when they got money. But when it's the other way around, they want us to pay for their bills and help them financially be stable and everything, you know? Correct. I think we all have standards, but women are always told all their life, don't settle, don't settle, don't settle. So yes. when it comes to a man that is making less money than you or you're you're the breadwinner, whatever the case may be, you feel like you're settling. You're settling for less, you're settling for like you, you feel Good like point. you deserve more. Whereas a man takes leadership and accountability and 
can be that leader in that relationship that a woman cannot be. Okay. What She's is smart. Ooh, I don't know. That's hypergamy. a big word. <laughs> okay. Hypergamy essentially means marrying up to a person of higher status. Which gender is more likely to practice hypergamy? The woman. I'll be honest. Talk okay, about why it. is that? I would say I can only speak for myself, and it's like knowing that if I'm make if I'm doing so well in life, like yeah, I will want to either marry equal or up. Like, why would I downgrade myself if I know again what I'm capable of or what I'm earning? So men are always downgrading themselves then if you want to follow that logic okay so if women historically married up wouldn't that mean that men historically married down i mean so who's really settling for who their minds are blown but it's, in society <laughs> women have always been the prize so it's the woman trying to earn the woman's i mean the man trying to earn the woman's attention or you know win her over so at the end of the day we're the catch um this is very fascinating which is why i love doing interviews with it's complicated and then also reviewing it on the back end okay she she's she's questioning everything that she's saying right you could tell like if if i was to put up an echo chamber scale around here her echo chamber scale is extremely high okay what she say from a societal perspective women have always been the prize so you could tell this is someone who believes that but also well, works well within that um her over here i would say that at least from what i'm seeing right here has a much more realistic understanding of kind of the dynamics and is constantly questioning it but oftentimes what we understand is that women don't have to really question this shit they just show up right but men has to think about this these things men have to create their purpose their utility be useful within their life right they we, we have to create this shit but more often than not women just show up and say i am the table accept me in my truth and all the bullshit but let's move on let's continue so it's the man trying to get us so no he's not marrying down even if per se i don't make as much as he does because again he's happy to have me on his arm which gender is more likely to practice hypergamy? Men, females. Females, why do you say men? Why do you say females? It's just naturally in them to do that. No, females marry higher up. Yes. All the time. Okay. They marry for money. Okay, so yes. they're not gonna mess with a guy that's broke. I mean, if you're a guy that's broke and you have nothing to offer a woman, right? Why would a woman mess with you? Most women will not, okay, so. You know, you, you got to have something going for you as a guy. A good, good personality, good looks. None of that means nothing. <laughs> Most women want uh, stability as in money and, you know, as a lifestyle. Like when you talk about the Ain't big lying. dream, the big dream is like, oh, I want to live in maybe a big house and marry, a, marry into a good life and stuff like that. But I think where we came from in Denmark is quite equal as it is right now. Definitely. Yes. It depends how you... How it's egalitarian um, in those Scandinavian countries. Let's keep going. How good your education is. And yeah. in our case, our education would be just like the male. The male yeah. The man. yeah. Definitely. But that's like the American dream. Okay. If women historically married up, wouldn't that mean that men historically married down? Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, so the who's, way you put it together, yes. Yeah. So who's really settling for who? Uh-oh. I think as soon as you get married, the man settle for the women. The man is always settling. In every situation, the man always has to settle at a certain point because there's no woman that you're going to meet that's going to check every single box. Eventually, you're going to have to settle. Okay. Is hypergamy for women ultimately about security and survival? I can't say that. I, I have to disagree because a lot of women, like about those two, those two definitely, but financially, that's a big thing. Isn't that a byproduct of evolution? I mean, didn't women want to secure the best genes for their offspring? If she says Isn't that yes. A primal instinct? Yeah. She, so then wouldn't it be about security and survival? Yeah. I, I have to agree then, yeah. She's Is very bright. for women ultimately about security and survival? I think yes. It could be. Is Guys, that what a, are we doing? <laughs> Is, that, is that a byproduct of evolution? 
I well, yes, know. women look for attractive traits in their male to secure them and their offspring. That's like I think a thing. men marry down because the girl's good looking, and women marry up. For because security. for like money and stuff. For secure, yes, and they that's have true. to be good looking. <laughs> but you know what? All men end up ugly anyway. So who even really cares? I actually, Wait, I'm not. What did she just say? But you know what? All men end up ugly anyway. So who even really cares? I actually, I'm not gonna include myself in this. But a lot of women are just looking for the richest man. That's the thing. They just want to find the one with the most money. Whereas some are looking for. Some that will accept them. It's different for everyone, but majority are looking for the one with the most. So, do you think that women are looking for sugar daddies and men are looking for trophy wives? Oh, hey. What I find so interesting about what she just said is that she won't include herself within that. But here's the thing: I, I think I don't think it's smart as a woman, as a mating strategy, if you are attractive to not try to get the best option of dudes, whether it be from a monetary perspective, right? Like, but it's. Are you being delusional in what it is that you're that you want versus what it is that you come to the table with? If you're a a six, should you really be expecting a top one percent earning man and won't settle with any other men up until you do? So I, I found, but I found it interesting is that she can break the woman code as long as she don't put herself within it. <laughs> but you know, I think you know. Listen, we're all trying to get the best options for what we have at the end of the day. And there's nothing wrong with stating that, but I think there has to be a root within reality. Let's keep going. Uh. I gotta agree with you on that one. D guys, don't, don't fight me. Does hypergamy mean that women code. will always continue to choose the best option and never settle? Mm. Mm, no, because a lot of women settle. Right, but do they want to settle? No. So they would want to choose the best option, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, women but are But men want to as, is, as well. So it's like, they're gonna always choose the best option for who they want and who they want to be with because they're not gonna settle for less, they're gonna settle for the top dog. Some women are so set on not settling that they never find that perfect person. And it's just, they just keep looking, keep looking, and they're gonna look until they find no one, cause no one is going to check on those boxes. Okay, I, I think, but here's the difference. That's human nature. Human nature, we want the best option that we could possibly get for what we bring to the table. That's a human nature thing. That's not, necessar not necessarily a female nature thing versus a male nature thing. That's a human nature thing. I want to go into the car dealership and get the best car for the lowest price. I, that's a human thing. But see, the thing is, is the difference is, is that from a cultural perspective, women are taught that they can have it all. That's what they are taught, that they can have it all. So they want the six foot this, the six pack abs, the at least six foot eggplant, like they want all these different types of things. Meanwhile, as dudes, as they're thinking through um, selecting down, it's not necessarily based off of like these unrealistic standards of you can have it all, right? right? Like it's, it's not based in that. So I think that's just the reality of it. Hey, is hypergamy the equivalent of men never satisfied with only one chick? I mean, a man of high status is always going to have multiple options. Like, that just comes with the man who yes. has money like that or even has that type of quality of life. Is hypergamy the equivalent of men never satisfied with only one woman? Men is never satisfied. I don't even think it's about women. I think it's about men are just never satisfied, period. Money, They're not satisfied women, with career. themselves. Men is not satisfied with Or is it men? As coming from... Um, a culture of women that have fake hair, fake eyelashes, drawn on eyebrows uh, that alter their height, that use makeup, um, you, that uh, BBL epidemic, breast augmentation. And you want to say a blanketed statement as if men are the ones that are not satisfied with themselves. Meanwhile, you go in a lot of dudes cribs who are living on one mattress fridge empty as shit right like <laughs> bathrooms are questionably dirty at all times right i think there's a lot more dudes that are happy with themselves than women on average let's keep going and always wanting the girl with the best looks yeah they definitely want to 
pretty girl. Okay, but I'm just yeah. saying, if women are always looking for the best option, wouldn't a man always be looking for the best option as well? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so is that kind of like a similar, comparable thing, you know? Yeah, it is. Okay. Kind what of. is the difference between a hypergamous woman and a gold digger? I feel like a hypergamous woman is looking for someone to do what we were used to back in the day, lead, um, be the breadwinner winner of the family, someone who is just the provider. Sure. A gold digger is someone who just wants, 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 wants. If you're in a high pregnant relationship, the woman is still providing, the woman is still doing, the man is doing a lot more. Gold digger is just gonna take, 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 never give, ever. Okay, a gold digger is just looking straight for money. Like, they don't really care about- She's respectable. What the guy looks like, what he has to offer. They just want the money. Uh, well, actually, they do care about what he has to offer. They, if it's money and luxury or any type of things yeah. that they can get from him, strictly then, transactional. Yeah, but uh, you said hypergamy. Yeah. Okay. So with that, um, if you or if they uh, go for that, they kind of want to find love in the sense of you know quality of life that they have. Do you find it hypocritical when parents advise their sons to avoid gold diggers? while also advising their daughters to find a man who will take care of them? Um, a little bit. I mean, obviously a okay. woman. So isn't hypergamy encouraged in women? I feel like in this day and age with social media and everything, it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're gonna wanna lead our children to the right direction. And if we're raising a son, we're gonna raise them to try to find a woman that can balance out their lives. Whereas our daughters, we can't just me personally, I would never let my daughter slack, but also a man who is able to provide is a man who I believe is able to lead a family and raise a family and make things what they should be. People raise different. Some people might raise their kids like that, but. When I was down in Vegas, was this complicated? I met this dude, he works on the strip. Shout out to this brother. At the end of the day, we all want our children to have the best in life. And it's better when they have a spouse that they parent approve of. Oh, what is the bars. difference between a hypergamous woman and a gold digger? Because again, if we're not just talking about finances, you know, uh, oftentimes people marry for you know love and, and stuff like that. So if if there's other factors that are associated with that, then I would say that differentiates her from being a gold digger. Do you think unconditional love is possible in a romantic relationship, or are people only as loyal as their options? I, th I, I think unconditional love is a definitely a thing. If both partners are 100% invested, I'm, I'm almost positive that it would work. Um, I mean, curiosity will always be a thing, no matter what. It's not, that's something you cannot stop. But if you don't act on it, then yes. What are your thoughts on the following statement? A man's loyalty is tested when he has everything, while a woman's loyalty is tested when, when her he man has nothing. Has nothing. Oh. I feel like that is true. It's true. I feel like when a man is down and out, that's a woman's escape goat to get yeah. out the relationship and out the system. And I feel like when a man is up and has everything, power, money, women, that's when you know if he really loves you and he's loyal, if he sticks by your side and holds you down, 10 times down, always. I agree with that 110%. That is, that's so that, so valid. Then, so wouldn't that mean that people are only as loyal as, as their options? Oh, you're stressing me out. Yes. Why are you doing this to me? Oh my God, but you're telling me things that I never really thought about. I'm not telling you what you want to hear. I'm telling you what you need to hear. My boyfriend <laughs> just broke up with me. This is everything I need to hear. Really, we got with me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed the thing? I told him that charisma. Shout out to It's Complicated. I, I Listen, I'll leave a link to the video down in the description box down below. You guys can go up there and finish out the rest of the video. I think that last question is very interesting. Are people only as loyal as their options? I would say no. I think there's certain people um, that have... Uh, uncountable amount of options, but they choose not to exercise those options for whatever reason. So like, for example, let me give you guys a, a brief example. So like, let's say that, um, you know, I'm a young man in my 20s and I have all of these options of women and let's say that's within a relationship or not, you know, or not in a relationship versus if I'm later on in life and I still have similar options, you know, at like 45, 55 years old or something like that. 
of women in and out of relationship, those two examples, although the options are there, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to disrespect them any more so at 50 as opposed to 20. And in fact, the 45 or the 50 year old is probably less likely because he reaches a different stage of understanding himself, wisdom within that, uh, unlocking those things within it. Now, it doesn't mean that he wouldn't feel good releasing himself on different types of women, but I think that there's a ingrained sense of emptiness as you do that later into your life as opposed to in your early 20s when the testosterone is high when components of your self-worth established around how many women that you can slay is particularly high and the peer pressure within that is doctrinated on what is determined to be masculine by most young men your lay count so in essence simply the options still may be there, but depending upon your disposition at that current junction of your life, you'll choose whether to be loyal. All right, guys, again, it's complicated. That's the man right there. Go down, check out the rest of this video. There's still at least 25% left, so go check it out. Go tell them MTR sent you, all right? Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Mediocre the terms and reviews at gmail.com. So you guys agree with the things that I said in the video? If you don't, or if you do, Write them down below. Add that timestamp so I know exactly which component of the video you are speaking about. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.